Hello everybody, Frank's Garage here. Today I thought we'd check the RPMs on the snowblower because it is important that it runs at uh, usually 3600 RPM and if you have an engine that's over revving you can end up blowing your connecting rod, you can blow your engine and then it's garbage so you know for seven dollars I got this uh, mini tackle meter but it also keeps track of the hours that you run your machine but I'm not really interested in that what I'm really going to use it for is to check the RPMs on the snowblower and what you do is you just wrap this wire here you know wrap this wire around the spark plug wire and I noticed with a lot of the videos when they show these they, they're on all the time this doesn't have a replaceable battery although I think I can probably remove that back this going to be a CR battery in there. Yeah, I'm not going to do that yet, but there is a little gap here. I would assume it's that they do it this way because a lot of people mount these on their motorcycles and they're going to be weatherproof. You know, for my application, I'm just going to be checking small engines. I'm going to be checking the RPMs. So that's not a big concern. Now mine is off because I did a reset. Now I know there is uh, another way that you can turn it off. Let's turn it on here. I'm just going to press this button. And you can see now that's how it ships. You know, so you're looking at probably only, depending on how much you use it, I mean it's on all the time. Probably looking at a couple years where it's going gonna, it's gonna to last. But what I did was I just hit this S1 button. I hold it down. I want to reach 05. Let's try that again. It's not the quickest thing in the world, but we just want to get to 05 and then I'm going to hold both the buttons down. We have 05. Now I'm going to hold both of these buttons down for like 20 seconds. And you're going to see a bunch of, you should see a reset. It's going to say reset there. There's our reset. I keep holding it down. But then you're going to see these. Uh, going to go through a reset and then it should turn off. And there you go and then that's the way I do it because I don't use the the hour meter where I keep track of how long the machine's running I just use it for the tachometer. So it's no big deal to me at least I know it's off and you know at a later time I may explore removing the back of this and replacing the battery inside. But for today we're going to hook it up to the snowblower and we're going to wheel it outside and we're going to check the RPM. Now, I like to set mine a little bit lower because it is an older engine. I think it's from 2005. It's a Tecumseh 6 horsepower. Okay, so we're in the garage. I was going to do it outside but it just started raining. Darn the luck. So forget about that. But that's alright. We'll do it right here. Our meter is on. It's showing zeros. Let's see how good we can get in there. It's a little hard with this. I do have a flashlight. That's, that's a tough one. Okay, so it is zero. So I'm not even going to bother talking through the video when it, once I fire this motor up. I'm just going to make the adjustment and keep an eye on what, what we're getting on the meter. Um, and that's about it. Um, we'll hopefully get as close as we can to 3600. Maybe I'm comfortable with 3400. So let's fire this thing up and, uh, and see what the readings are. See if this thing works for $7 on eBay.
turn on the fuel there. We're set about halfway here, that's good. I'll give it a couple pumps. Okay, so as you can see the speed was decent what was I at 35 70 35 20 you know I'm happy with that it, at one point it had even popped to 3600 so it's, it's uh, definitely set great properly I don't have to worry about it I don't have to set anything so I'm happy about that it's running great uh, I basically just wanted to show the operation of this uh, mini tachometer here, $7 on eBay. Handy to have, you can use it on any of your small engines. You just have to wrap it around the, uh, wrap it around the wire um, of the spark plug. You know, run your wire wherever you want out of the way. You know, start your engine and uh, take a look at the RPM. So, I hope this video helped you out today on how to check your RPMs on your snowblower because if you, you can over rev an engine and especially I've seen a lot of these Tecumseh engines where you blow the connecting rod there's a hole right in the side of the motor from running it too too fast uh, so mine's good so I'm not going to worry about that okay so here we are it's a Tecumseh 6 horsepower engine it's a 624 and here's the governor arm I did want it to adjust uh, the RPMs a bit lower which I'm not going to because I'm happy with the result you can see here that the governor arm we've got some springs in here and then we have the uh, throttle plate which as this the centrifugal force inside the motor controls this uh, if we wanted to since I don't have an adjustment uh, screw here, a lot of uh, snow blowers have the adjustments there. I don't have it, so you know this would be high here, uh, which would uh, open up the throttle plate. I would hold this. I don't know if you can see it. Get in a little bit better. 
I would hold this and I'd probably mark it first or scrape something in there. I would hold this with something and loosen this screw here and slightly slightly back it off. I mean this it would, it's much harder without a screw but I would slightly back it off so that the throttle was a little bit closed so it would run run a little bit lower on the RPM but I don't need to do that I, I don't have an adjustment on my carburetor all I have is a uh, it's a spring you press it and the fuel is for cleaning out the fuel and I don't have an adjustment here for the air fuel mixture I do have a low idle screw here you know you can thank EPA regulations for that they don't want people adjusting their uh, air fuel mixtures but again if we wanted to we could adjust this governor arm you know we could mess with the spring tensions but you really don't want to mess with that you know as far as the operation of the governor arm because it's going to be moving depending on the load on your motor to maintain the RPMs that it has. So that's just a quick view of the uh, governor arm and how you would adjust uh, the RPM speed if you don't have you don't have the screw here uh, which would have been much easier there's usually a screw that will allow this to be adjusted apparently it can't be but there's always a way around that. 